through majestic forests, alpine valleys and crystal clear lakes, following the trails of wild animals in search of rare birds in places where no man had set a foot before. Precious, magnificent nature in all its diversity and grandeur in the documentary series Kazakhstan's Wildlife Sanctuaries. From children's perspective, nature is a habitat of all living creatures. Getting acquainted with animals through fairy tale characters, young generation learns about nature. For school children, environmental education begins with first lessons of nature study and through exploring preservation areas of their homeland. School children of Almaty region often visit the Almaty National Nature Reserve. This reserve exists for almost half a century. During this time, the museum has collected more than 3,000 exhibits. You may look at displays with predators of Transilia Latau, like Tian Shan lynx, learn a lot about the habits of birds and wild animals. Look, here's a blue bird sitting on its pedal. We call it a bird of happiness. If you see it in nature, make a wish. They say that it will come true. If you happen to see it in natural surroundings, under the bright sunlight, you will see that it is bright purple with white spots on its wings. There are several nesting spots of this legendary bluebird in Almaty Reserve. Usually, bluebird can be seen near mountain streams, sometimes even behind the waterfall. Never-ending sound of water can't hide the singing of these birds even from a long distance. It has a loud flute-like singing. The Almaty Reserve has 177 bird species. Most of them come to these places in spring. Winters in the mountains are filled with enchanting silence. Just turbulent mountain rivers roll within deep gorges. Almaty National Nature Reserve is located in the central part of the Transilia Latal Ridge. It was organized in 1931 and is considered to be one of the oldest nature reserves in Kazakhstan. Mountains part of the territory takes Talgar mountain note. More than 160 glaciers feed Talgar, Yesik and Chilik rivers. They, in turn, supply the population of the region with drinking water. Reserve staff systematically work in protection and monitoring of nature. Security service inspectors go around the territory daily. The length of the territory of the reserve is 71,700 hectares. The reserve is divided into two sections, Talgar and Desik. Talgar branch has 10 state inspectors, rangers working there. Another five inspectors work at Desik. In any weather, in winter and in summer, they protect the nature. This year, winter had come early to the Transilialatal Mountains. Snow gently covers mountain slopes overgrown with juniper. It had dressed the Tianshan spruce into its snow-white winter outfit. When winter comes, the nature acquires a special charm. Seems that an artist had his work done here, with the finest brush painting deciduous and coniferous forests in glowing silver. The air is clean and frosty, bright sun hits eyes, the sky is so blue, as only happens in the winter's clear weather. The uniqueness of this nature reserve is an imbalanced diversity of mountain and meadow landscapes. Northern slopes have deciduous forests, which are replaced with coniferous forests on higher altitudes, rising almost to the foot of the glaciers. 
In our reserve, we have shrank spruce growing, birch trees, aspen, silver apples, nidzvetsky apples, apricot, and many other trees. One year after another, biologists carry out monitoring of the animal and plant world of the reserve, recording observations in the Chronicle of Nature book. This program is carried out since 1964. Wild inhabitants of local mountains are hardly seen here during winter time. Some of them are hibernate, others are nocturnal. But life in the wilderness continues, even during severely cold season. The footprints in the snow plays evidence. This is where the raw deer passed through. It drank water from a spring and went up into the mountains. The animal behaved cautiously, stopping sometimes, peering into the far. It stepped carefully, stealthily, just like the predator would. It has someone to fear. Mountains of Transalia Latau are home for lynxes, wolves and snow leopards. Throughout the year, rangers are observing the nightlife of the reserve. They put up camera traps on animal tracks. We were able to watch the red-listed ounce snow leopard, Tian Shan, brown bear, through these cameras. There were also birds, red-listed snow cocks among them, Himalayan vultures, golden eagles, hawks, bluebirds. Camera traps recordings revealed that the red-listed animals feel safe in the reserve. Snow leopards had their offspring, as well as bears. In Almaty Reserve, the bear is not considered rare and endangered species. It can be found everywhere. After waking up from hibernation, they wander through the same paths over and over again. Most often, the brown bear appears in the mountains of Middle Tolga. Last year, the recordings of the camera captured mainly these inhabitants of the park. The bear in the wilderness is dangerous for people, and unexpected encounter is usually a tense psychological battle. It is impossible to determine the bear's intentions. As I was making a tour across my territory, I've met a brown bear on my path. It was chewing a branch of silver apple. I froze there from fear. Bear also froze in his tracks. But the beast came back to its senses faster than me and quickly climbed up the mountain. Turkestan lynx is a small animal, but strong and canny. It has his own clever ways of hunting. It can't run fast enough to catch up with the fleet-footed deer. Lynx sits on a rock in ambush and waits for an animal to pass on the trail. It jumps on top of the prey and bites in. Another large and ferocious animal in the reserve is the wild boar. Head of the Nature Museum, Marina Hamula, explains children why wild boars should be feared. Especially when their herds have little piglets. Wild pigs are different from domesticated ones. They have longer fur with stripes on their sides. A male boar, as the head of the family, is to protect their piglets. It attacks everything that moves near them. There was a case when the boar attacked a car, thinking it might be a threat to the group. In the middle of the previous century, the Eurasian red squirrels were released to the spruce forests. This fluffy animal acclimatized well and its population had significantly expanded. It may be seen everywhere, especially on the lower cotton. Squirrel deftly moves from bush to tree. On ground it moves with short hops. This squirrel is in constant search for food. When sprinter comes, the nature of the reserve 
will come alive with brightest colors and singing birds. Their spring flowers will appear on the meadows and lawns. The brightest ones among them are violets, buttercups, gagea. Plants attract many early butterflies and many insects. There are at least 6,000 insect species in this reserve. Cold food grows along the banks of the river in the middle Tolga, and yet another medicinal plant can be seen along the path, filled horsetail. Here, near the trails, between mossy stones, ferns sprout. There are several kinds of it. At the bottom of the mountain, at this time of the year, all juniper bushes are very visible. There are more than 860 plant species growing in the Almaty Reserve. 28 of them are listed in the Kazakhstan's Red Book. Almaty Mimlikitik Tabiri Gorgonung, Almaranda, Nigznen, Ushok Paktarvar. We have developed hiking trails in the Almaty Reserve. During the summer, tourists hike on these routes. They are accompanied by our state inspectors, rangers. Along the way, visitors can admire Severus apple, Hawthorn, Nedzvetsky apple, and wild apricot. Transalia-Latao mountains are popular holiday destination not just for Almaty citizens. During warmer months, many tourists come here to enjoy the protected nature, enjoy the mountain air, filled with floral and pine aroma. And extreme sports enthusiasts can climb the winding mountain paths up to the cold glaciers. However, in winter it is not safe to be in the highlands. Huge masses of snow accumulate on the steep slopes of mountains and in narrow hollows. They eventually might turn into a destructive avalanche. Therefore, those who plan winter hiking in the mountains need to know exactly how this natural phenomenon works. Things to cause the avalanche can be an abrupt change of weather or any mechanical stress on the weight of the snow, such as rockfalls. An avalanche that once started as a snow dust as it moves down gets heated by friction on the rock and melts a little bit. Then the mass freezes and tightens. Snow mass, dense as concrete, can drag trees and stones, crushes them against the rocks, smashing everything in its path. Avalanches can move at 200 km per hour. It is almost impossible to escape it. But the greatest destruction is usually brought by not the avalanche itself, but by the air weight that precedes it. Avalanches pose a mortal threat to human life, so it is important to warn the population ahead about the danger of avalanches. Our job is to warn about the threat of avalanches, monitoring of hazardous sites. We remind the public about the threat of flooding. During these perilous times, we don't let anyone into the reserve. Due to the threat of avalanche slides, we also couldn't get to the highland areas of the reserve. Recently, one of the mountain roads was completely inundated with thick snow and stones. There was a lot of rain this year in November. You see yourselves that there's a lot of snow on the right and left parts of the reserve. Avalanches are already sliding down and even block the road to the cordon, which is very inconvenient for conducting work at the reserve. We are clearing these roads ourselves with the help of government inspectors. By the end of this trip, we met a flock of restless gold crests. During warmer months, gold crests weave their nests in juniper forests in alpine and subalpine zones. 
and with the advent of cold weather, they move to forested areas closer to the remaining insects and plant seeds. The winter gradually takes the scepter to rule these lands for several months from now. The snow falls more often and soon mountain trails will become impassable. And we set off on a new adventure to the reserved places of Kazakhstan's nature.